Hey guys, Steven Rourke here, and today we're going to be doing a review on the NECA Godzilla 1989 figure. So first things first about this guy, let's get into the thing I like most about this. And yes, this is the NECA I just recently got, literally just got this figure, I believe, on Thursday in the mail. So I've had it for around, uh, I'd, I'd like to say five days now, almost, almost five days maybe. And uh, it's about time that we take a look at this, because I've given it some... Uh, good looks over the weekend and I've really taken a look at it a lot and I have concluded that in terms of pros and cons What I think is best to rate this figure at the end of the day So like I said though with what we usually do with reviews Let's start out with the, my, my favorite pro about this figure My favorite pro about this figure uh, in terms of all the stuff we usually talk about in my opinion has to be the Detail now in my opinion the detail on this guy is very very good and for many reasons why you might expect me to say articulation because it's NECA um, but in my opinion, they were literally tied, but I, I had to go with detail for many reasons. One, I, you can honestly just see the details around the chest here. Just the design here with this NECA makes it look exactly like the actual suit from 1989. You see these lines made with the legs, really just the lines uh, made out on the chest and on the legs and on the arms. And um, details on the spike is like any other average NECA, so I'm not going to give that so much credit. But um, same thing here, you can see the lines made with the tail, uh, the movement of the tail, uh, detail of the spikes along the tail is also pretty average like other NECAs, but really what took me away about this in terms of detail was, like I said, the chest detail, and uh, you can see, like I said, you can see like these break, broken apart parts of the skin. I don't wanna say they're scales, but, and the lines made around the arms and the legs, and I guess the feet are nicely detailed. Uh, they, they do look pretty nice. Um, uh, facial detail, however, is what a lot of people claim is the issue with this figure because it doesn't make it look like the 89 actual design. My opinion on this is that all they had to do was really fix the eyes, and in my opinion, the design would be exactly alike. In my opinion, right now, this more this looks more like 1993 from, of course, Godzilla vs. Super Vec Godzilla 2 than anything, uh, rather especially than 89, but if they just fix up the eyes... I don't, I guess, I, I don't really see what people say about the cheeks. I think the only issue that makes this, unfortunately, not like the 89, <clears throat> is the fact that the eyes aren't, I guess, squinted, because the guys really did look squinted in 89. That's what really gave it its true design. These kind of look too uh, open. That's why I'm saying it looks a lot like from the 1993 design, um, and a lot of designs like that. But the, 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 the detail made with the cheeks and all that, I don't really notice that being really strange. It's really only the eyes. And it's unfortunate because all they have to do is fix that, and boom, you have what would, what would be uh, a, a very similar design as to the actual, uh, you know, um, suit used in Godzilla vs. Biollante. So let's move on to the next thing I like about this figure. So, similarly to earlier, I did say that the articulation and detail were pretty much tied, but I just had to go with the detail. Uh, meaning that, yes, articulation will be the next thing I like about this figure. Uh, reason being is, it's a NECA, very good at articulation. But one thing that truly stands out about this is that, unlike most NECAs, this NECA didn't actually come in that stiff. By far, the most stiff NECA I still have and is quite stiff is the NECA 64. That, I'm afraid, folks, that is one stiff NECA. I don't know why, it just, it just doesn't seem like it has great movement, but this... Even though you could get it out of the box, and sure, you might have to move it around just to make it feel a little bit more uh, movement-like. I don't really know how to describe it. More, I don't know, more spacious um, and more ability to move more joints. This didn't have that issue. You could really just mess around with this just a tad, and it would really be as if you had this figure for years, and you've been moving it for years, and it's nicely moved. The joints are, nicely to, are nice to move. Like I said, there's really no stiff joints with this figure at all. And similarly, to, like I said, 64, all the joints there were very, very stiff. The leg couldn't go up to a certain point of view. But look at this. I literally, like maybe an hour after getting the figure out of the box, realized I could literally do this with the leg. That far up. That just proves that the stiffness on this NECA is superb. Um, and I mean that. I know that it's not fair to say anything's perfect because nothing's perfect. But I mean, in the sense in which, you know, there's not really many stiff joints, this did a hell of a good job in having no stiff joints or no movements that made the ball joints kind of hard to move around. This is nice with movement. It's really, it's nice and quick. Uh, and that's what I really like about this in terms of articulation. Other than that, the average articulation is what you'd see in any other NECA. And uh, yeah, so let's move on to the next thing I like about this figure. So the next thing I like about this figure clearly is the paint job. I'd like to say it's slightly above average. And the reason why it's slightly above average is 
is because knowing that there's only really like two, three colors on this, you know, it, they, they just did an average job of what any other NECA figure would. They just had the same color as Godzilla, added the usual colors, nothing special, nothing out of the ordinary. The only part of the paint job that, the reason why I'm saying it's slightly above average that I noticed is with the toes, the toenails, or the claws on the toe, on the feet, to be honest. They actually look nicely done with the paint job. I like how they pretty much not, didn't, just, didn't just do a, a, a bright white like they did with the spikes. They actually made it more brown looking to make it look more old-like and more dirty. Uh, I like the way they did that. It looks more natural, the way it's brown, uh, the claws on the feet, both of them. They did, they did a really good job of that. They even have it on the hand claws too, um, fingers too. Um, yeah, so the claws on this were nicely well painted. That, that's why it's uh, nicely well painted. We're, we're nicely painted, so that's why this uh, paint job is, uh, is uh, it's pretty good. So let's move on to the cons with this figure. So, that being said, with the cons, uh, there's really three cons. Most of this are kind of blended in with nitpicks. They're so close to being big flaws that I'm just going to mix in with a real flaw and just an average nitpick. So let's start out with the first nitpick slash real flaw, I guess. I don't know, they're kind of a mix. They're not so bad, but they're bad enough that they need to be mentioned. Uh, so first things first, let's get on with the legs. Now, in case you didn't notice, this leg ended up out of the box longer than this leg, and that is a problem because it's unbalanced when you put it on the ground. It doesn't look that, it doesn't look that way when you, uh, you know, have it placed under, but if you look down the feet, if you were to, for instance, hold this up just straight up with the feet, have it straight on the ground, this would be above the ground, and this is literally the difference between the ground and the foot if you were to simply make it completely straight up for the other leg. It's that much of a size difference, and I feel like that is an issue because, you know, why would you want to have one leg shorter than the other? And I've tried to stretch out the knee ball joint, made this knee, joint, knee, knee ball joint a little bit shorter. It really does not do the trick, and that is, I think, just an issue in terms of it coming in uh, when I ordered it, so I don't know if you guys are gonna have that issue, but it is something to take note of guys for sure And uh, the next thing on I have to say about this figure is this now first off I don't know if you could tell with the actual neck joint not the head joint. It's a little too zoomed in uh, I don't know if you could notice but honestly the front of this neck joint seems as though it's slightly out of place of where the uh, Joint connects if you see what I mean you can see that if you were to shift it if you were to shift it over to this side it feels as though it's nicely shifted over, um, but if you were to, you have trouble shifting it over to this side because, like I said, the neck joint isn't really fit into this to the you know the the joint in which the neck joint would come into the rest of the body. It seems as though it's slightly coming out of the circular area to fit the neck joint in, so it's pretty much popping out in a way, and that's a little bit of an issue because sure it can move nicely to one side, but to the other it's kind of stiff because this is sticking out and it can't fully go around the uh, the uh, you know the elbow and the arm and all that so it's, it's it is an issue um in my opinion that has to be noted last but not least the last one the last issue i have with this figure is that despite the fact that you know ball joints are supposed to be put in to tightly secure the figure and i get that even though it kind of is a pain in the neck when you put it in this actually has a ball joint of the tail where it actually comes off quite easily you could even see that where the ball joints connect, where the ball, right here, this is, you know, where the, where we're supposed to snap in the tail. It, it's so much, it, it can actually snap out quite easier than other NECAs. And I feel like that is, you know how I said the 64 is slightly, uh, was pretty bad when it comes to stiffness. I think this is like far from stiff to the point where it's a little too much with the leg because now it's, it's not even close to being stiff and it's kind of loose in a way. So you could definitely seal, you can definitely, usually with ball joints, you don't even have to see the gap. This, you can actually see the gap in terms of fitting in the ball joint. And it has snapped out a few times. So the ball joint on this isn't as strong as other NECAs. And I'd rather have it that way than have every other ball joint be the opposite and be extremely stiff. But like I said, these are all points to be noted. And that being said, I would rate this figure an 8.7 out of 10. I highly recommend you get this because even though I do not have the 2003 with me just yet, I can already tell I like this more than 2003. So I could be wrong. I could get the 2003 and love it more. Who knows? But as of now, this would be the NECA I recommend more than the 2003. And I get it. I don't have it. You can criticize me all you want on that. But in terms of appearance and in terms of the cons and reviews I've seen, this seems across. This seems as though it comes across comes across way better. So like I said, it's an 8.7 out of 10. 
Uh, especially if you haven't even gotten the new NECAs yet, this would definitely be one of them that, you know, you're only able to collect, but you should collect. So yeah, like I, like I said though, uh, 8.7 out of 10. Hope you enjoyed this review. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys later and bye-bye.